great memories at UCF. Phenomenal school. Orlando got through and through now. Well, they love you here. I mean, we, 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 we could hardly get your attention before the game tonight because everybody, I, I'm surprised you're prepared. Once you show up to the arena, it is a turnstile of support for you, and everybody wanted to say hi. Well, it, it's incredible because the love is mutual, right? It goes both ways. You know, the fact that the fans are still into it, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of everything that we were able to accomplish as a team at UCF for this community. So it's amazing being back here and being able to call basketball games with a great play-by-play -play broadcaster like you. When we got a whistle, it looks like we've got a technical on Raekwon Battle. He is feeling the effects yeah. of that crowd and the support you were just talking about. Well, and a competitive guy like Raekwon Battle, he's done everything he could tonight. It just hasn't been his night offensively. But you can tell the passion, how much this guy wants to win basketball games for his team. Just the frustration there, talking to Gary Maxwell. <laughs> Slapped him with a couple of technical fouls, and now Battle will head to the locker room. Yeah. So those are two technical fouls on Raekwon Battle, and he will have the rest of the night off yeah. as he is ejected and heading to the locker room. Not like him, but a sign of the frustration that UCF has created tonight in West Virginia's best play. Well, it, and West Virginia definitely came into this one hoping that that Kansas game will be a turning point. Now can we generate more positive progress moving forward in Big 12 play, and that's all sort of dissipated here tonight in Orlando, so the frustration is obviously understandable for a player of the caliber of Ray Farm Battle, but you can't lose your head, can't lose your pool. You gotta stay out there for your team. And off camera, a great moment. Coach Eiler just gave him a hug and had a coffee to it with him and he just said, hey, you know, hang in there, yeah. set him off to the locker room. But I love that Coach Eiler did that, right? They didn't berate him. He didn't get in the space and say, I can't believe he did that. Like, save that for the locker room. Save that for the meeting tomorrow. But in the moment, you got to have a conversation with him and talk to him. And just a little bit of a chuck right there of, of Shamari Allen as he received the basketball. Just a frustration foul more than anything. And remember, Battle missed the first nine games of the season. And Coach Island says since he's come back, sometimes he's trying to squeeze a little bit too much.